Got our snacks, and now we have five minutes to get our board. Snack. What is it? Today we're going to Disneyland. Ah, Disney, Disney. Today marks the first day of our week-long family vacation. Woo. Yeah. Dance party, dance party, dance party, dance party. Wow, we're really excited. Addie is right, we are headed to Disneyland today. We are going to Disneyland for two and a half days and from there we're gonna do something so special that no none of the kids have ever done before. Go and on a cruise! Go on a cruise! Do you know where we're going? Yeah. <laughs> LA, LA. LA. We are going to LA, that is correct. We're going to LA, but from LA we're going to Florida. Not Florida, good guess. Do you know where we're going? Hawaii. Good guess. Mexico! This is actually gonna be the kids' first time out of the country, out of the United States of America. So we have a lot of fun things planned this week, but to get to our fun things, we have to pack and get ready. If you watched our last video, you saw that Chris and I actually went to Phoenix this weekend. Say hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. I didn't vlog any of that stuff. That was some Instagram exclusive content. So if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you even doing? Go follow me on Instagram. I posted all weekend there, all of our fun festivities, but we're back in full swing, ready for our week-long adventures. However, this morning, I actually had a doctor's appointment because when I was gone this weekend, um, I took a yoga class on Saturday, okay? Never done yoga before. Well, during this yoga class, I realized I have this pain in my hand, and I've had it for, I don't know, at least a year, but I never really know, I, like it, it doesn't bother me day to day, like if I do a cartwheel it hurts, you know, every once in a while, but other than that, it doesn't bother me too much. Hi sister, are you ready? Oh, you know what? Take a shower really quick, can you? So I have this pain in my wrist, which uh, I never really think too much about because I don't really like use my wrist too much, and it only hurts when I put pressure on it. So, when I did yoga this weekend, bright and early, Saturday morning, I'm doing a yoga class, I'm so excited about it, and if anyone's ever done yoga before, you do some, you know, fun things. You're like, you know, like that, like that, that. Okay, we didn't do that. So while I'm doing yoga class, I am in, you know, what is it called, dogs, doggies, Dogs pose, dogs pose. Style. Dog. Scott. <laughs> I forget what it is. It's like the classic, this one. That one. What's this called? Do you know? Okay, whatever it is, can you see my wrist? You see how you have to put pressure on it. Anyway, I realized that it hurt really bad to put pressure on my wrist. And then I proceeded to realize that I have quite a large, I'm trying to get the right angle, lump on my wrist. Can you guys see this lump, right there, this lump? And it's it's squishy, like it's, and it hurts. When I push it, it hurts. When I do this way, it hurts. I can't actually bend my wrist all the way back. So when I came home yesterday, I, or two days ago, when did we come home? Two days ago. Mm -hmm. I decided to make a doctor's appointment to see what's going on. I don't think a lump like that is normal. And I, I mean, I have a lump right here because it's my bone, so like I have that lump, but this is, that's my bone, okay? That, that's my bone, this is, and again, it's like at a really weird angle, but there's a good size little lump there. I made an appointment this morning. I went to my doctor and he said, he like tested me for like carpal tunnel. It wasn't carpal tunnel. So he ended up ordering an x-ray for me to make sure that it wasn't like broken, which I don't think it is. He asked if I injured it. I don't remember injuring it, so I don't think I really injured it. So I'm not really sure what's going on, but he ordered an x-ray just in case, went downstairs, took an x-ray. I don't have the results yet, but he said he's pretty sure they're gonna come back clear and he thinks it's some kind of like tendonitis, I think is what he called it. Does anyone else have a lump that hurts on their wrist? Let me know down in the comments because again, it wasn't until this weekend that I was like, even when I like push on it this way, like you can see, you can see that there's like a lump right there. So I'm turning to my YouTube family because I feel like anytime I have any kind of 
anything happen, someone in the comments always knows so much. Even when I was talking about Kyson's tooth last week, this doctor said he had never seen this in his whole history of his career. And I had people in my comments saying, I had this, this happened to me. So you guys are always so helpful and I always appreciate it. That is beautiful. Is that the one you want? Okay. That's perfect. Okay, you can take that off the hanger and put it in mommy's suitcase, okay? But anyway, enough of this health stuff. We are going to finish packing. I actually packed all the kids stuff last night. And actually the day that I'm filming this video, you guys, you're gonna be so proud of me. The day that I'm filming this video, you guys are actually seeing this video the next day. Normally I'm like pushed out a week or so, depending on content. But I am so like caught up on my footage that you guys are seeing this content in action. This is, this happened yesterday, what you're watching. <laughs> Right, it is 1.50, our flight leaves at 3.25. It is time to go, I am officially checking my last minute list. I always make a last minute list of things that I think about in the middle of the night that I think I might forget on the day of. So I have Ayla's birthday present, her birthday is on Friday, hair gel, oh batteries. I did forget something, masks. You still need masks inside the terminal of the cruise. So I know that's the only place, anymore. not airports, not airplanes, but in the terminal. Oh, I have your guys' COVID tests. Oh, you know what I don't have is our custody papers. I think, I'm just gonna bring it, yeah. So when you go, I just need it for the boys. Lilia's dad will be there and Addie's dad will be there. When you go out of the country for any reason, if you have split custody with someone or if you have sole custody or whatever, and the other parent is not attending, you, I don't know if this is like by law or what this is, but you have to have paperwork showing that you are allowed to take that child out of the country. Such an interesting thing. Something a lot of people probably don't know if you don't have shared custody with someone. For me, obviously Lilia's dad is gonna be there on the cruise when we go to Mexico, so I have his permission there. Addie's dad obviously is, I'm married to him, so the boys is the only like problem, and luckily it's a very, very easy solution. I have sole legal, sole physical custody of them, so all I need is my court paperwork showing that I do in fact have full permission to be able to take them out of the country. And if you don't have sole custody, you have to have like a written and notarized agreement, like paper signed by the other parent, like the other custodial parent, showing that um, they know that you're taking the child out of the country. Anyway, it is such an interesting thing, so I just need to make sure that this is the right, that's not the right one, that is me with Gabe. Here it is, let me show this is the right one. The mother shall have sole legal and sole physical custody of the minor children, namely, Kyson James Roke, Caden John Roke, and Landon Joseph Roke. Okay, this is it. And we're off! Who's ready for vacation? He <laughs> brought Pingy. Pingy has to come on the, all the trips with us, huh, Pingy? Thank you guys, you guys are awesome! Whoa! I Having big kids is so fun. I love it when your brothers actually want to carry the suitcase, <laughs> so you don't have to do it. That is so no. nice. The boys like fight over who gets to push the suitcases, and we have three large ones this trip, which is kind of perfect. Chris is parking the car for us, and we're gonna check these bags in and start going through security. We're missing one, one, two. Oh, oh, he's, he's drifting over there. Kite, Kaden, Kite, Kaden. Whatever your name is, <laughs> you know who I'm talking to. Okay, nobody. This is probably why they like to do this. Okay. The first person that like this. Okay, now hopefully these are not overweight. They can't be over 50 pounds. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys know the drill, huh? I'm gonna test you guys right now, okay? We're gonna see if you guys know how to get to the terminal from here, okay? We've flown a lot, okay? You guys are seasoned pros. Do you know how to get to the terminal? Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. No, 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 no. We'll do it through the bus. No, 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 no. And then we'll do, I'll tell you where to go. I know where to go. I'll okay. Go. You guys are gonna lead the way, okay? If we miss our flight, no pressure. <laughs> no but it's gonna pressure. be your fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be your fault. <laughs> No pressure, it's just gonna be your fault. Okay? <laughs> no pressure, it's all no your pressure, fault. No pressure, it's just gonna be your fault. It's okay, it's just gonna be your fault. <laughs> okay, it looks like they know where they're going. Okay. Now where do we go? We wait now, that's so, alright. Our usual spot. Our usual spot, yeah. That's actually pretty easy. Wait, which, uh, which gate are we? That's our ticket, okay? So, so, 
<laughs> okay, so when we get there, you guys gotta show me where B19 is, okay? Uh, easy! <laughs> Mother. All right, we made it through security. What's next? We are trying to find our gate, but it's very easy I, to I, see. It's like right it's nice. all the way over there. After security, we get snacks. It's blurry. Sorry about that. I don't know how to hold a camera. Okay, what's our snack rules, guys? What do, what do we usually? Uh, okay, one two drink, candies. One, dr one, one drink, drink, two candies. Candies. One drink. No. One drink, one candy, one chip. Yep, that's our deal. Okay. You I have a fruit tray snack? and yeah. banana bread. Got our snacks, and now we have five minutes to be our board. Snack. Five minutes till boarding time. Five minutes till boarding. Time. Yeah. Did you find our gate? Yeah. Right. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, we gotta double check though. Look at the screen and see where it's going. Do you know where we're going? Where we're going? Yep. Long Beach. Long Beach. Long Beach. Long Beach, California. We made it. The kids got us here safely. You guys did it. You guys really like did all of that. They got us to our gate. Ready to go? Off to Neverland. Get the real close look now. Assume you're real. I always put it down in the description box. It's 15% off. You want to stay here? It's seven minute walk to Disneyland. So we're home. I love this place. It has the best bathroom lighting. I love staying at the Disneyland Hotel. I really do. But it's balls expensive. And this is honestly, I was telling Chris, I think this is actually a little bit. I'm lying? Huh? I didn't say it's seven. Oh. Seven minute walk. Yeah, or eight minutes. Seven or eight minute walk to Disneyland. Fun fact the park actually looks like this. Mom. Exactly like that? Not exactly, but like I had all those attractions. Really? Yes. This going through Matterhorn. There used to be like a pirate ship thing. Huh, interesting. You taught me something new. Lily with her Disney facts. Speaking of Lily with her Disney facts, we've been talking about letting her. We're right by the pool. Letting her have access to her Instagram. So we might let her post on her stories a little bit. She's about to be 12. Her birthday is in one week. So I might let her post on her Instagram a little bit. I'm still managing it 100%, but I might let her post on it a little bit, take some pictures, we could post it. So if you're not following Lilia on Instagram and all these beautiful humans on Instagram, go follow her. Put a link down below. Put a link down below. Take a look at how nicely this is packed right now because it's definitely not gonna stay like this. Okay, kids, you guys cannot touch this suitcase, okay? This has to be packed. This is all of their stuff. This is every single child, all seven kids' stuff for the next one, two, three, four, six days. This is all their stuff. It's like a freaking store. We've got all their PJs. This is all one day of Disney, two day of Disney. Tommy and Kaden live down here. If you don't know, they live like 10 minutes away from Disneyland. So we gave them the choice if they wanted to come. In the past, they've been like kind of iffy. We're going to be here tomorrow and the next day. We left the choice up to them on if they wanted to come with us or if they just wanted to meet up with us on Friday because the original plan was that we were just gonna pick every, we were, we we're gonna come down here Friday. We're all gonna go on a cruise on Friday, but we added on these days as extra. So Tommy said, heck yes, I really wanna go to Disney with you guys. So he's actually meeting up with us tomorrow. Kaden is like, eh, I don't really care to go. I don't really want to go. So we're definitely not going to make him. So he's, I think, just going to meet up with us on Friday. So Tommy is going to drop dropped off tomorrow with us. No! And then Kaden's coming with us on Friday. I, I brushed my teeth. Good job, baby. Oh, pretty. Good job. Hello. Speaking of Disneyland, can we see? I don't know if our view is of, the, of Disneyland this oh, time. Yes. Oh, it is. Look, there's Guardians. Oh, oh it's Guardians. You see Guardians. Oh. Woo! Speaking of Guardians, do you guys want to go to the park right now? No. Yeah. Yes. 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 
But the, dis the fireworks are canceled. They're still gonna do Mickey's Mix Magic, which is in two hours. Not as cool, but I do love Mickey's Mix Magic. This is kind of nice. It freed up, see? Can you see the castle? Yeah. Just can't wait. Okay, scream it. Ready? Mickey, ready? the hotel room. I got ice cream for the kids and they spilled it on each of their jackets and they only have one jacket for the entire trip. So, or jacket, sweater, I guess. So now I'm going to try to clean this off as best I can so that they can reuse this for the next few days. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Make sure you go follow us on Instagram. Lily is also Instagramming a little bit under my supervision because she is really excited. She wants to share like Disney facts and stuff I think on her Instagram she just gets so excited about this that kind of stuff she cannot wait to have her own like social media stuff but I told her that 13 is the magical age for her to have like control over her social media because that's the rules with it so anyway that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video bye guys